It has been exactly one week since Chandrayaan 3's lander Vikram touched down smoothly on the moon's surface. The rover Pragyan is exploring the moon's south pole. This achievement has put India in the exclusive club of countries known for exploring space like the old Soviet Union, the USA and China. India also became the first country to reach the dark side of the moon that does not get sunlight. Just a few hours after landing on the moon, ISRO quickly showed the first picture taken by the camera on the lander Vikram. This picture gave an early insight of where Chandrayaan-3 was aiming to land. On the morning of August 23, the Indian Space Agency said that India started its journey on the moon. The rover from Chandrayaan-3 separated from the lander and started moving around. According to ISRO's report, two out of the three main goals of Chandrayaan-3 have been achieved and the third goal about doing experiments is happening now. All the things that were sent on the mission are working well. PM Modi said the spot where Vikram landed successfully is now called Shiv Shakti Point. The place where Chandrayaan-2's lander had trouble in 2019 will be called Tiranga Point. August 23 will now be celebrated as National Space Day. The previous head of ISRO K7 said that calling Chandrayaan-3 a failure-based design is not right. He explained that Chandrayaan-3 learned from the mistakes of Chandrayaan-2 and improved in many ways. ISRO also showed a chart with temperatures on the moon's surface. A scientist was surprised by the very hot temperatures recorded on the moon. They used a tool called CHASE on Chandrayaan-3's Vikram lander to measure temperatures near the pole of the moon. The space agency told us about the mission called Aditya L1 Solar Mission. It's India's first mission to study the sun from space. This important launch will take place on September 2, 2023 from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. On August 27, ISRO said that the rover Pragyan found a big hole. The rover was told to go back and take a different path. ISRO scientists are hopeful that after about two weeks on the moon, both the rover and the lander will work again when the sun shines on them. Even if they don't work, the mission is still seen as a success. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.